Morgan. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Colleagues, I've enjoyed seeing this uh, open process in this body for the uh, first time in a long time as far as it goes. However, a real open process would allow, uh, would allow for real alternatives representing meaningful compromises in scope as well as in the particulars. America needs and deserves a real bipartisan solution that is more than political theater and actually has a chance of being a viable compromise with our Senate and President. I took two messages from the election uh, last November. Uh, America wants jobs and they want to see their nation's fiscal health restored. To achieve these dual objectives, we need to have a careful balance between ensuring this fragile recovery and beginning the march to prudent fiscal reform. Corporate economists and previous CBO directors agree that $61 billion in reductions to the 2010 budget level, which we are currently debating, representing a 14% hit to our domestic spending on education, health care, public safety, and economic development, would be a crushing, crushing burden on job creation and economic recovery. Contrary to the, to the lofty rhetoric surrounding uh, uh, the role, this, the CR's role in correcting our budget deficits and national debt, this deals with less than 15 percent of our budget. I'm afraid this is merely a political exercise. America is begging for more for its, from its duly elected representatives. The proposed CR does not even get to the mythical $100 billion in reductions that were talked about during the political campaign. This proposal was not even considered by the Republican leadership is real. They opted for a more reasonable $34 billion reduction target before being hijacked by politics. Where are the open committee hearings? Where is the testimony from individuals, businesses, agency, agencies? We are operating without vir with virtually no deliberation at all, and oftentimes members have mere minutes to evaluate the amendments. Members have literally been working day and night for a reasonable compromise. We need a CR that gets us through these tough times and sets the stage for real fiscal reform. I have such a proposal before you here today. My alternative requires a 4.7 percent across the board reduction in domestic spending for the remainder of 2011. The only exception is the Census Bureau. My proposal strikes more appropriate reductions in military spending at the same time while protecting our warriors in the field. As the Secretary of Defense has stated, we need to eliminate costly weapon systems way over budget out of control civilian contracting and achieve much needed deficiencies in the agency. So rather than a 2% reduction increase, rather, we talk about a 1% increase. This proposal, which I hope is taken as a beginning for a bipartisan compromise on the continuing resolution, makes real cuts of about $20 billion in our current level of spending, enough to be meaningful with seven months remaining in our calendar year or our fiscal year, but not enough to undermine the recovery. It's simple. It's serious and it's real. I urge its adoption. With that, I yield back.